Hi, I'm Tammy Sorensen and welcome to Ease in Prayer, episode number 13. Today I had a prompting specific to 741, the throat gateway, the energy gateway that's specific to the throat and the voice. And it's been stirring in my spirit for a while now about how incredibly much our voices are being shut down. It is a strategy of the kingdom of darkness to silence, to shut down the voices that are called to release what the Father's heart and will is on earth as it is in heaven, to bind and loose as directed by Yeshua in scriptures, specific to things going on that we know should not be allowed to be going on, uh, loosing those things that we hear and see from Holy Spirit's leading to bring about the Father's heart to advance the kingdom of heaven on earth in this now time. We have been called and anointed and appointed to co-labor with Holy Spirit, not by power or by might, but by His Spirit. And a big part of that is our voice, making sure it's clear to release what is on the Father's heart this day for such a time as this we've been born. We've been called to steward at this juncture in history and we do that with our voices. It is very specific to the gift of prophecy. It's not about being a prophet per se as desiring the spiritual gifts, desiring to speak and prophesy and decree as Ezekiel did to the dry bones as many of the Old Testament prophets did, we carry Holy Spirit with us, within us, in a new covenant. And we are called to see the unseen and call it forth according to scripture, the, the word and the now word that Holy Spirit is highlighting through visions and dreams. The words jumping off the page in scripture. I'm really stirred right now because I just got through listening to Emma Stark on the Sid Ross show this very topic specific to rising up in the kingdom of heaven and being a part of the Lord's army. I also received in the mail today Tammy Sutherland's new book, Wordless Prayer, and it's about how the Father sees our groans and our tears. And when we don't even know how to pray over what's going on, He leads us with groans. Holy Spirit does. So my warfare today, my worship today, my intercession today, my playing, releasing the sound like David did before Saul to drive away the tormenting spirits is 741 gateway that we do not allow anyone to shut down our voice specific to what the Lord wants to release through us to what he's asking us to co-labor and partner with him on. And so that is what I want to do today in conclusion with a holistic frequency infused Holy Spirit inspired peace instrumental peace in 741 Hertz. I also want to give a shout out because this is the week that on 65 my new album higher resonating frequency words and instrumental tunings for you to do this very thing with interceding hearing his word his heart his scriptural truths spoken over your lives, your families, your circumstances, your situations, as well as our nation and the nations. It's important that we spend the time soaking in his presence, worshiping him in all that he is, in who he is, and who he wants to be for us in this now time, and how he wants us to partner with him in this now time. And so I want you to be aware of 65 being released on all digital streaming platforms, wherever digital streaming and sales are available, as well as on my websites. And also my new sound therapy manual comes out on Amazon. And I want to give a shout out to that. I have put down some of my sound healing sessions and the goals with each for the age groups of the womb to the resurrected tomb for all age groups and put it in a manual that I pray is helpful in uh, stewarding holistic health and wellness for ourselves and in these critical times in which we live. 
Be abundantly blessed as I intercede in 741 Hertz on behalf of each of your voices not being shut down, but intentionally being opened up, being freed up to call forth the unseen as those seen, to use the keys of the kingdom that Yeshua has made available to each of us in this now time to partner with him in bringing forth his heart and his will over your personal life, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, financial, relational, he sees it all. And sometimes there are no words in, in the delay, in the hope deferred, in the disappointment. I believe there is a very strategic assignment to shut down our voices and to put us in a place of hope deferred and disappointment. And we simply have to stand in the faith that we are called to stand in because all of this has already been defeated. It's under our feet when Yeshua resurrected in all of his power as the King of glory, as the victor over all of it, as Jehovah Rapha, as Jehovah Jireh, as everything we need. And he cares about us personally and individually. All things are possible in, over, and through with Yeshua and Holy Spirit. We need to know the Father's heart. We need to know how much he values us and loves us to the point of he gave his only son that we didn't have to perish or be judged, but that he took that on for all mankind and we're all invited into that relationship, into that fellowship, into that cleansing, into that abundant life. We get the leading and the direction for it from Holy Spirit who is indwelling us. We're in the new covenant and Yeshua, Holy Spirit, indwells us. We are his worshipers. We are his warring worshipers. And it's time to step into who he has already made us to be and have your voices opened up and freed to decree, to stand in faith, to declare over anything and everything that you're needing him to be. All things are possible because of Yeshua. In Jesus' holy name, be abundantly blessed. Thank you.